And I'm convinced that we've come to this point in our society, we've come to this point in our culture of the United States of America for sure, where we've drifted far from the laws or the truths of God that now we call good things evil and evil things in our country we now call good. But just because someone calls good evil, and you can call evil good a million times, guess what? It's still evil in God's sight. And God is the one who gets to define truth, not you and I. God's laws do not change with the culture. By the way, they also don't change with conversations. Just because you're in the conversation and the part of the side that you like doesn't mean it changes. Satan comes along, here, here's, and I hope you know this, um, that he has a plan to distract you, to, to try to detour you from worshiping, exalting the king's majesty. How's he going to do so? By the deliverance of the king's message, right? That's how it's going to happen. And, and I hope you know that the plan is this. Um, it's not to party with you like it's 1999. That, that's not his plan at all. Uh, It's not so that you'll have more fun. That's not the plan at all. The scripture tells us that he desires to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's how he's convinced so many of us to question truth, to walk away from truth. Hebrews tells us this. Be very careful that you do not drift away. So Satan does so, I, I think, very simply, very slightly. He takes every period of God and he places a question mark there. That was pretty good. Maybe at 11, they'll be like, wow, I'm going to write that down. I may Instagram that, uh, put it on X. Um, He takes every place God puts a period and he just puts a question mark. He's been doing that from the very beginning of time, right? Think about this. Just take the period out, put a question mark in. God said, Adam and Eve, because of my love for you, trying to protect you, don't eat from the fruit of the tree in the middle or the center of the garden. Don't do that. Period. Satan comes along. Just take out the period and put a question mark. Did God really say that you can't eat of that fruit? And by the way, if you do eat, I mean, really, like you're going to die? Question mark. So let's look at 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3. For the time will come, and I would tell you, I think it's already here. When people will not put up with sound doctrine, instead... To suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers. Man, can we not find those on anywhere on social media today? And to say to you whatever your itching ears want to hear. But look in verse 4. They will turn their ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. Or we could say beliefs. This is what I believe. (laughs) This is what I think, instead of what is truth. 